Hello there, greetings everybody, my name is Saeed, I am an online English language teacher and this is another video episode from the IELTS vocabulary for the speaking series. In this episode we will be focusing on the vocabulary which is related to the topic of relationships. Um, I gotta tell you one interesting thing guys, some people reported to me that this very topic, the relationships, turns out to be one of the most frequent guests on the speaking part of the exam. Um, I'm not quite sure why this is so, but that's what the stats tell us, and we're going to uh, really focus on the expressions that may help you during the actual test. Also, this can be quite helpful if we're not talking about the IELTS usage, okay? We're talking about just the general preparation, general talking, general speaking skills. I think it will be quite handy, you know? All right, so without further ado, I suggest we shall get started. Now the IELTS speaking part one. Part one style questions. Do you see your friends very often? The woman named Louisa is giving her answer to the question. She says, yeah, we meet up most weekends, we all get on really well, and have a lot in common. So we're always happy doing the same things and going to the same places. What do you like about your close friends? The man named Adam is responding. I think we enjoy each other's company. We see eye to eye on most things, so we rarely fall out with each other. Have you known each other long? Jessica says, Most of them, yes. Although my closest friend, Carrie, we struck up a relationship at college and got on like a house on fire. But yeah, my other friendships go back years to when we were at school. Wow, guys, this is an amazing vocabulary, I gotta tell you. And uh, now we will be continuing to the speaking part two. IELTS speaking part two. The cue card says, describe a person you are very close to. You should say, who this person is, when you met him or her, where you met him or her, and say what it is about this person you like so much. As always, my friends, I'd like to tell you that you can simply pause the video and uh, allocate yourself 60 seconds or so to write out your notes or thoughts regarding this topic and maybe you can even act the speaking uh, section part two itself for yourself to check if you can or cannot handle the topic of uh, this level or this kind later on when you are done you can resume playing the video and check out the vocabulary that we've highlighted for you in this video lesson and we will not be losing any seconds, so let's go to the answer itself, all right? Here we go. Jake, he's speaking about his girlfriend. Let's read his answer. I'd like to talk about my girlfriend, Anastasia. We got to know each other at university almost four years ago. We were in the same department. Um, Initially, we were just good friends and used to go out in a group of, with uh, other friends. Um, when Anastasia went back to Russia for the holidays, we would keep in touch with each other. Then one year, she invited me to come to Moscow with her and that's when we fell for each other. I think... Um, so you couldn't really say it was love at first sight as it had been over a year since we'd met, but uh, we really hit it off, and by the time we got back to university in September, we were able to tell our friends that we were in a relationship. What do I like about Anastasia? Well, she's very kind, very funny, and very supportive, and we're really well matched in our interests. Frankly speaking, I haven't popped the question yet, though. We've talked about getting married, and I think we're both ready to settle down and have children. We'll just uh, have to wait and see. Wow, what a great answer, i got to tell you, and some fantastic expressions. 
Now guys, let's move on to the speaking section 3. IELTS speaking part 3. Part 3 questions. Do you think marriage is still as important as ever? Christine thinks, yes, it certainly is in my country. I think the problem for some people is a lack of commitment. Old relationships have their ups and downs, but some people prefer to break up rather than working at the relationship. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the ideal time to get married? The guy named Terry is responding. Personally, I think you should wait until you've found yourself first. Decided if you want a career, perhaps do some traveling. Should do this before tying the knot. Although, if you fall head over heels in love, plans like this can easily be forgotten. And final question is, is it important to keep in contact with our friends when we are in a relationship? Maria thinks, absolutely. It's so easy to drift apart from your friends when you fall in love. But I think both partners should try not to lose touch with their friends. That's the best way to have a healthy relationship with your partner. Okay, guys, this um, seems to be it of three parts of the IELTS speaking test. And now we shall move on to the definitions of those fantastic highlighted in yellowy orangey color expressions and words. So, here we go. Frankly speaking, to be honest with you, truth be told, by the way, truth be told was in one of our previous video lessons. So it's probably familiar for your eye right now. Love at first sight means to fall in love immediately you meet someone. To drift apart means to become less close to someone. To enjoy someone's company means to like spending time with someone. For example, I, frankly speaking, enjoy your company, guys. I mean, you, exactly, the viewers. To fall for means to fall in love. To fall head over heels in love means to start to love someone a lot. To fall out with means to have a disagreement and stop being friends. To get on like a house on fire means to like someone's company very much indeed. To get on well with. To understand someone and enjoy similar interests. To get to know. That stands for to begin to know someone. To go back years. It means to have known someone for a long time or like to have a long history of acquaintance. To have a lot in common to share similar interests. To have ups and downs means to have good and bad times. A healthy relationship stands for a good, positive relationship. To hit it off, well, that is a little bit slang here, means to quickly become good friends with somebody. To be in a relationship stands for to be romantically involved with someone. To be just good friends means to not be romantically involved. That's the, that was difficult to crack, huh? To keep in touch with stands for to keep in contact with. To lose touch with, however, means to not see or hear from someone any longer. To pop the question. To ask someone to marry or to propose. To see eye to eye. To agree on a subject. I think you guys and I see eye to eye the fact that IELTS speaking is very important, as well as the other sections. To settle down, to give up the single life and start a family, to strike up a relationship, to begin a friendship, to tie the knot, I love this phrase by the way, to get married. That's so funny, like you're tying the knot, right? <laughs> and you're getting married. To be well-matched means to be similar to. And to work at a relationship, that is to try to maintain a positive relationship with someone. Well, my friends, this is it. I think we did very well today on the lesson. And I certainly loved 
the expressions that were in the lesson. So thank you so much for watching this, for listening in case if you're not watching but listening. And I will be very happy if you come to the channel, hit the like and subscribe buttons and just stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. We have so much interesting uh, stuff planned ahead of us, a lot of interesting lessons. So guys, I promise to you, things are going to get hot, okay? Thank you very much again. Stay healthy and positive and best of luck with your own IELTS preparation. Bye-bye.